We were happy. Covered in soot and porous dirt. But none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? ago. The Corral reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. <sighs> Whatever. We need to get back. Tell them what we found. God, no. Bad! Dine! It's the mayor. It's Shinra. They just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on. Hey! Over here! Uh. Uh. Please. Uh. Uh. This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. Still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't ya? Come on. Damn it. has a reputation for safety to uphold. Which makes you liabilities.
happened. your heart dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Well, Marlene, set a place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Huh. Good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Come to think of it, I don't see a gift, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here. You son of a bitch. Still living on Shinra's kill. No, man. It ain't no. like that. <laughs>
Remember when we had that rat problem? You and me set traps, and you got caught in one of them. I guess old habits die hard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were here to help me! It's gonna be okay! No, why? 
wise words. Coward. When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... I thought it changed our lives. Well, it changed them all right. You know... I can hear her now. Eleanor... As clear as day. Begging me to stop. Give you the benefit of the doubt. Saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! Oh! eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Dad, we could go see Marlene right now. <sighs> Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop! With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again?
guilt. That weight. Dying. Dying. Baby. Receive a proper burial, I promise you. Thanks. Looks like this is goodbye, old buddy. 